Should you invest in Hamilton's Kiwi Condos? Is Kiwi Condos Ham Hamilton a good investment? Is Hamilton a good investment? Hello, this is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker, and today I'm going to talk to you about investing in Hamilton, particularly in the Kiwi Condos. We're going to review what Hamilton is for investors, and we're going to review what the Kiwi Condos offer, including prices, floor plans, rendering, everything. Everything will be re ready for you right here. So let's get into it. This is Jesse Kaplan, Toronto Real Estate Mortgage Broker, and I've been helping people for almost 20 years now, buying, selling, investing in Toronto real estate. I started working in the back office of the real estate office and working in sales centers and an admin, got my course, got my rank, started selling real estate, and what do you know, it's going well. I'm really happy because I'm able to give people some good help and advice on what to buy, what not to buy, when to sell and when not. Okay, so today's topic is Hamilton. I already pre-posted in my Twitter, twitter.com slash Jesse Kaplan, uh, just a bit of a teaser for this video. These are the Kiwi Condos 212 King William, i.e. Kiwi King William Kiwi Condos. Here's the building, beautiful architecture by Kirkor Architects. Did a lot of projects in Toronto, they're from Toronto. And this project is basically appealing to Toronto investors who do not want to spend a thousand, twelve hundred, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars a foot. Uh, why? Because these units here, the top end units in the building, are going for about six seventy a foot, less than seven hundred dollars a foot. So, if a penthouse, a Kiwi condo, is going for less than seven hundred dollars a foot, you know, you won't be able to find a similar looking new, uh, modern, established condo in Toronto for even half of that. So, that's the appeal. The appeal, of course, the price is half. Uh, but what's going on with Hamilton? Well, you know, if, you, if you're new to Canada, if you're new to Toronto, I knew, I mean, five, even ten years, uh, everything is fair game to you. You come with uh, a fresh perspective, you're looking at uh, the city, let's look at the map here, and you're basically looking, no, Hamilton's not that bad, you know, if I came from another city, um, I came from Tel Aviv, but if you came from any other city, you know, a lot of cities have the center, and it's really expensive, and then around the center, uh, there'll be less expensive areas, but still just as good to live, just as good places to live. Uh, you know, this is still Ontario. Uh, Hamilton has been known for many, many years. It's kind of blue collar, steel town, um, a lot of factories and what not been done here in St. Catharines, Niagara Falls. Of course, uh, that, that was the main economic uh, mover here. And of course, all the traffic from Niagara Falls from the U.S. border. Uh, follows through here on our way to Toronto. So all these areas, some we say Catherine's here, and all along the major highways uh, leading to Toronto have always benefited, okay? And Toronto's kind of the last stop. And of course, it's go east towards uh, Oshawa, GM, and um, there you go, that's the GTA. So GTA starts, to me, in Clarington, right here, I know, and then all the way here to the US border. That's the real GTA here, just, just so you see what I'm talking about, okay? It's huge. Um, within this GTA, there's probably half the people of Ontario, if not two-thirds of them, they live right here. Okay, so everyone's here. All the business, the commerce, the universities, everyone's coming here. And, uh, you know, you'll find universities, of course, in uh, Hamilton. You got McMaster in the area with a great med school. Uh, in Oshawa, you got a new university called UOIT, University of Ontario IT School. So all these areas are littered with new businesses, new schools, and new economic engines. Uh, they designed not to power up Toronto, but everything around it. So Toronto is still a fantastic investment, always will be, because that's the center, that's the heart, that's the core. But if we want to invest less money and increase the ROIs, we need to look at the second best. And since Mississauga is also a thousand bucks a foot, um, Oakville's got some, Etobicoke's got some, but Hamilton is really where the economic engine is. A lot of people, a lot of my friends, personal people that, that I know, uh, have moved to Hamilton already and bought themselves uh, houses, condos, or renting in Hamilton and starting a life there. Uh, Hamilton's changed a lot. I was there in the summer looking at uh, a few projects. There's a lot of projects building in Hamilton. There's a lot of construction. There's a lot of industry. A lot of people moving down there because the cost of living is simply much, much less than Toronto's, okay? Um, there are sites actually compare cost of living. You know, Hamilton is probably like a third less than Toronto. And on, on the housing, it's about half. Uh, now, the rents in Hamilton are not that low. They're high enough to justify uh, buying a place there at a discount price. Um, they're not going to be as high in Toronto as Toronto. That's why people move there. But the cost of real estate is also much lower. So if you're starting out and you know you only have $50,000 or $100,000, Hamilton is a good option for you. Particularly, we're going to look at the Kiwi Condos package today. Um, 
The key would just so you'll see it's a gorgeous building. I really like the architecture. That's a 212, 212 King William uh, Street, which is um, parallel just close to uh, King Street, which is kind of the main drag of Hamilton. And we're going to look today at the Penno Suites. 10 foot ceiling here, beautiful architecture at the top of the building. Uh, some face north, some face south. They're plentiful. There's some nice renders on the website, uh, developer um, and marketing very very well i'm not crazy on red myself all this red stuff but you know it's it's definitely an eye catcher and uh and those are good and once you look at some of the galleries here and I, i'll show you uh maybe on the suites okay so these are floor plans over here and you can see the renders they look like they look really nice uh, these are very nice looking unit they're modern there's no difference really, really between the unit here unit in toronto unit brantford you know they're all the same uh, the difference is, of course, your environment. So if your environment is fitting and you can buy the same quality here for half the price, think about it. First of all, that means that a lot of the construction money um, that you pay for a condo in Toronto goes towards land, the land acquisition that developer uh, has put on. Also fees, you know, the fees in Toronto to developers are very, very high. Uh, and when they cap your closing uh, development fees by 10000 12000 15000 Developer eat uh, some of that cost. Sometimes it's ten or twenty thousand dollars per unit. They tell me that. Um, so that means that you know, the developer has to quote unquote subsidize the price of the unit. But really, it just comes in the price of the unit, pushes prices up. So Hamilton right now is a sweet spot. Uh, it's got the economic engine. It's got the population. It's got the roads. It's got the proximity. Um, so that's very good. So let's zoom in here. And by the way, when you buy from developer, you will not. You will not get. Uh, the VIP discounts that we get and I'll show you in a minute. I will show you what is offered right now on the units that we have available for sale. Uh, when you walk in the sales and you just get the retail price. Don't ever pay retail price. Always pay less. Uh, when you come with me, Yossi Kaplan, uh, Toronto real estate agent, mortgage broker, VIP agent, uh, you'll be a lot better. There's a young man crossing the street in front of the streetcar. Not good, my friend. You just scare the driver and stress everyone else around you. All right, so the, the, the Kiwi condos, you see, they start in, in, a, in some of them start, uh, if they're still available, uh, just under the fours, and a lot of these units are in the fours. So you can get yourself a nice King Cross One Plus Den on the 14th, that's the top story, the 14th is a penthouse, i.e. Kiwi penthouses. Um, and you can get yourself a unit here for 441, 419, 384, 391. So these are good, good numbers, these are good prices. And once you zoom into the units, and by the way, there's a few units left on lower floors too, but you know, for a few more bucks, you can get yourself a penthouse. I would. I mean, the the idea of buying the, the penthouse is, is very, very attractive. Here's the Brooklyn unit. That's a popular unit. It's a very good design for 540 square feet. It's got a, a, a little balcony too. HVAC is in the center there. I'll put it at the back, but otherwise uh, the design is good. The kitchen, I like L kitchens. They put it at the back though. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So it still leaves you enough living room and master master room. Okay, there's the Chelsea, which is a similar unit, and you can see here how they design. These are the 550 square footers. Uh, but let's go to. Let me zoom in for you. Here's the Greenwich, that's 600 square feet. So you got a bit more spacious here. Okay, so this link is available. The entire file is 68 pages. You can see here 68 pages that I. Put together all the information about Kiwi. It's not from developers, it's from me. And once you email me or fill the form, you will get that, you will get this. Uh, in this case, uh, the King's Cross, 658 square feet, so 650 uh, square feet, very nice unit. Now you see an apple den, large kitchen, the living room is spacious enough, the master bedroom is is uh, good with, got the closet there, double closet, a large bath with the tub, and the den is good enough to put a bed. So that that's essentially, a small two bedroom for four hundred forty thousand dollars. That is very very good value, my friends. Logan Square. Uh, so you can see where it's in the building. There's one of those in the fourteenth. Uh, then as you come in, L-shaped kitchen. This is my dream unit. Just like I like it. Slightly larger. At least it's actually not larger by square footage. One square foot larger, but it just feels larger. Maybe because they took some of the space here. So if this unit is still available, uh, that would be a great candidate. Okay. And you can see the bath here is separate. That's a very nice design. Okay, and that's that's uh, almost a new unit facing north. Uh, lots of views there. You know, Hamilton doesn't have a lot of high-rises, almost none. So you always get views, you always get sun, wherever you face. 
uh, 65 square feet also a similar design a very large spacious bath by the way in Toronto you won't see it it'll just cut right here <laughs> uh, you know that's the jokes that we have in the industry uh, but there you go as one of those available it's it's gonna be unit 08 on level 14 uh, Nolita Nolita 674 square feet with a hundred square feet balcony that's nice and this one's got, uh, this is even a better design here. It's uh, slightly more, you know, you got a few more square feet, but that's just enough to make the den complete square. Put the bath in the back, at the front, and the kitchen in the front, so even more room. Okay, now this den will be maybe slightly smaller, but you got little, you got all these other spaces and the walk-in closet. So this is a great, like, mom and pop kind of starting out. You know, I grew up in something about this size, believe it or not. Um, so there you go. A family can live there. I, I certainly did. Um, this is a two bath. One has an ensuite to the master, and one is a bedroom too that can come right here. And that's a 708 square feet. So very, very efficient two bed, two bath. One of the most efficient ones, and that's called Notting Hill. And there she is right here. And if you go up here. This thing load, nothing here. 486,990. So, this is a two bedroom under $500,000. In Toronto, you won't find even 500 square feet for that. So, there you go. And we go up from there. And if I keep uh, scrolling down, I'll get more and more floor plans. This is, this is uh, page seven now of 68 pages. Okay, you'll receive this entire PDF from me. It took me at least an hour to compress it so I can actually send it. And what you'll actually get is a link to download it. It's a bit too large for email. You see it's rendering a little slowly. And what I want to do here is I want to go below the plan to show you what else I have. By the way, these are gorgeous, gorgeous units, okay? So there you go. There's a southeast corner. It's only 814 square feet. Uh, and suite 405 on the fourth floor get this large stairs. But even the balcony, uh, 265 square feet balcony, that's like more than it's like a half size of a toronto condo right in the balcony <laughs> so this is nice this is a nice look two separate bedroom nice living room that's very good that's very good value my friends that's very good value and very good design Kirkor did a good job here considering the space is still small you know 823 square feet for two bedroom it's still kind of small the space is going to be still small the design challenge is still there wicker park so that's close to a thousand and that's much more spacious okay that's good all right so here's the building and you can see the round this angle here that will be the angle here you can see it okay so that's so reserve the large for the corners uh now we're moving into this is a business presentation the developer provides us uh and you can see high performance hamilton Rick six in my large north american city with the most dramatic home price jumps so hamilton's probably the first or the second in ontario with price jump, but it's still affordable. Why is the price of jumping? But it's so cheap that people are jumping in, they go, that's okay, for that price, I'll buy Hamilton. And renters go, for that price, I'll rent in Hamilton. And then business go, oh, that commercial space is available for me, I can actually start my business here and my expenses are not that crazy. So that's why you see the movement to Hamilton. Once Hamilton becomes more expensive, it'll, the overflow will go to the surrounding areas that's how it works so now toronto is so expensive it overflows all the way to hamilton all the way east to uh oshawa but you know me i prefer the west west is the best closer to the u.s closer to the business with our massive giant uh neighbors to to the south strong resale market so 18 percent grew for the resale price growth 10 percent great value all these numbers are great you can download this thing from my website and check it out uh, right now you got in Hamilton, this is Hamilton proper, 536. Remind you, the, the expanded GTA is about 10 million. The regular GTA is probably the proper Toronto is 2 to 3 million. Uh, projected population growth 780 by 2041. All these numbers, I think they're actually much higher myself. And you can see here a bit of schools. You got Collis Boreal, McMaster, Mohawk, and Redeemer University College. So these are all good. These are... You know, McMaster, 5.7 kilometer, that's a cycling or a quick bus ride, okay? And, you know, they don't have, this is the Kiwi, that's actually really nice. Um, 
the location is very very good because you're like half a block from King Street your King William all these kings uh, this is the this uh, by the way that's only page 32 so it keeps going but I want to go back to the map and show you a few things here about Hamilton so let's hit this satellite and you can see all the gray area right here okay I'm gonna center it all these gray area here this is the downtown Hamilton so let's pop two on two King William and you can see we smack right in the center of Hamilton get that 3d move out a bit and you can see exactly where we are right in the center of Hamilton uh, to your left is McMaster right here to the bottom is Mohawk College okay so these are the big schools here uh, there's another college to the south of us I think if I move if I zoom in a bit you'll see it I've seen it earlier uh, so there you go that's the Stinson school the famous Stinson area where Harry Stinson is refurbishing that beautiful old school to lofts right now they're rentals and they'll sell them as condos probably in a couple of years the old industrial areas are all getting redone uh, all the Hamilton waterfront is going to get a massive, massive uh, fixing, whatever is not fixed, and it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. So a lot of options here. Traffic is, uh, is easy, transportation is good, and the prices are good. Okay. Now I'm not here to, um, to preach to the choir. If you see the opportunity, that's fantastic. If you do not, that's okay. Uh, some people say, well, you know, the condo in Hamilton, you can buy a house for that. Absolutely, and that's true to Toronto, that's tr true to all places. The, the condos, you know, represent a different, it's a different kind of animal. If you're an investor, you wanna buy something, put a tenant, and not worry about it for three or four or five years because the tenant been paying you everything, then you go with the condo. The house, there's always some issues, there's risks of fire, of water, of damage, taxes, rodents, uh, some animal ate something, the pipes froze, all these things and you know I've, I've owned houses, I've fixed houses, it's, 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 it's a thing. With the condo you just buy it and you forget it, okay? Set it and forget it like the San and George Former Grill. This is the site right here of King William, okay? I'm gonna zoom out and you'll see right behind you is King Street right here and just to show you for example, let's click on the nearby here and restaurants nearby and, and that, that's a good indication of how busy we are restaurants but I lost my location okay so here's my location you can see all the restaurants here okay these are all the restaurants I mean there's more obviously but that's what's come up on the map you can see it's pretty busy um, how do I go back here Okay, two one two on back. So all here, game jet cafe, all these places. That's King Street. So all these block around us, all these block around us is filled with commerce. It's filled with commerce. The city has an older population of those who lived there for many years. The city has a new population those who come because of the price of real estate. Even 15 years ago, friends of mine said, "Let's go buy in Hamilton." They were buying detached uh, triplex, uh, detached homes, three units for. $200,000. Those homes are now a million dollars, you know. Giant home. So there you go. Um, okay. So let's review a few more things. So that is the Kiwi condos. The Kiwi condos to me is a very good investment. Um, I think that there's a lot of potential there. The price is really cheap. Uh, the product is good. Look at this. This is a beautiful product. You'll have commerce. It's a central location. Um, Hamilton's getting a few other large projects. I'm not sure their status right now, but there's the television city, two uh, large towers. There's quite a few others. And if you look at uh, any uh, new construction sites, let me show you one, uh, you'll see that Hamilton is booming. Toronto condos for sale.com. That's my new site, by the way, that I've launched recently. And I hit that pre con button. And then here, just put Hamilton. And let's see what we get. There you go. So that, those are quite a few. I got two pages filled with condos in Hamilton. Okay. So the reason we're focusing on this one is because that the Kiwi condo has really made a great effort. A great effort in 
taking what's important to investors and bringing it to the Toronto investors. And obviously people from the area buy there too, uh, but since I'm in Toronto and I work with Toronto investors, that's our goal here is to make good investments. 14 stories, there you go, okay? So Kiwi Condos. A um, couple more things, yorkvilleluxuryrealestate.com, the site that I keep my penthouses and more expensive properties, uptown property. Go and browse here and see anything you like. At the bottom, you'll see um, here um, my other websites, yorkvilleluxuryrealestate.com, urbanrealtytoronto.com. So how to buy a pre-construction condo in Toronto, which is based on the video that I made. They'll take you to Urban Realty Toronto. We'll show you the video, and below, I actually broke it down to quite a few things, including the steps, how to select your unit, to your worksheet, how to sign, and do all this work here, okay? It shows you it shows you how to do it. That's the main site right here. Okay, so a lot of stuff going on here. When you zoom in or scroll down to the bottom, these are pre-made searches, so if you click on uh, King West, I should probably add Hamilton in there, uh, it'll take you to a specific search that updates 24-7 automatically. It'll show you all the new listings available in King West, and then you can sort it. You can sort it by price high to low, which is always cool. Okay, you can sort it by uh, what came first to market. Uh, you can first buy anything you want. Okay, latest listing means what just came to market. That's the default setting that I have. Um, another thing you can do here, really cool, is you can look at assignments for sale on the system. There are many, many assignments, not all in the systems, but those which are. You'll find them here. A lot of them removed because people not really have the authority to put an assignment for sale, so they put them anyways. The developer yells at them, uh, but sometimes the developer themselves put these. Okay, sometimes they have an approval from the developer. Regardless, uh, it gives you a good idea of what's available, and from there we can go forward and say, "Oh, Yossi, find me something 1630 Queen," and then I can look to see if there's other available. How many we got in the system right now? 56 plus. Okay, very good. Now, another thing you could do is put Hamilton in there, see what happens. So, I uh, should probably I'm trying to reset the search here. And now I'll go Hamilton, Ontario. Okay, that's a store. Now, this is unfiltered, but you can see how busy Hamilton is. You can see some prices in Hamilton. And again, you can filter here, sort. Uh, what do you have in terms of two bed, two bath? You can set your minimum price and everything. Is it a condo? Is it a house? And it'll just start populate. So you can see there's stuff in the millions here. Easy. So you can find a lot of stuff here in the millions. Okay, so our area is right here in the center. In the center. Look at the center here. So there's a general hospital, you know, doctors make a lot of money, so some nice homes, so your neighbor, pretty good neighbors to be around. Of course, there's all these giant properties here, like this thing. I'm not locked in at the moment, but let's go back here. But you can see, you can find giant, giant properties here too, if you want to spend two, three, four, five, six million, they're all here. All right. Um, one more thing, you can go to uh, facebook.com slash Toronto, where I repost all the videos here, show you some of the visits. This is a listing, I have 7,000 visits, that's what it takes to sell a listing, but that's what you got to do. Uh, videos come here, uh, there's a conference coming in that I thought was cool, some more uh, musings about investments, how hot's the market, okay, things you can buy, listing, it's all here. And of course, the Twitter, which everything goes here. If I put a new video, it'll just pop up and you can see it here. Or sometimes you get a YouTube's new videos. That's another listing, got 3,200. It's endless, my friends. It's endless. So, this was Kiwi Condos. We released in the penthouses right now. The prices are fantastic. They're less than $700 a foot. Let this thing load. And we just reload it fresh a huge file so the kiwi panels is the 14th floor some face north some face south it's not direct south and north because the building is an angle so you get a bit of light regardless very nice i think if you're looking for a nice two bedroom on a high floor lots of views and light there you go if you want an investment unit i would recommend the units in the mid-range in the four, 400 to 440 
think that's a great investment. Uh, you can find some other units even cheaper, some of them even cheaper if they still exist. Give me a shout, I'll send you this entire package and I'll let you know, uh, let me know which units you like and I'll let you know which are available. Okay, that's it. Yossi Kaplan, Yossi out.